Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Today I'm going to be going over how to add bar risers to your 390 Adventure. Now I did a bunch of research on this and from what I could tell, basically across the Adventure line, KTM uses the same handlebar mounts. So the risers should be, if I'm correct in this, all of the same. So I picked up some 22 millimeter risers that I'm going to put on this bike. If you've ridden this bike, you, you know that, that ergonomically the bars are really, really low. So I'm hoping to lift those up to give them a little bit more comfortable feel riding, standing up, and just a little bit more comfortable feel overall. I like bars to be a little bit higher. So hopefully this will do it. I know that the clutch cable is a little bit shorter in length. I saw a couple posts where people had to reroute the clutch um, cable. So hopefully we don't have to do that. But uh, stick around and I'll show you how to mount these. Uh, risers onto the 390 Adventure, especially since if you do searches for these as of today, you're going to have a hard time finding anything that's specific to the 390. But I think because these are universal, should be just fine. So let's get started. All right, I'm going to use a little bit of painter's tape to mark the edge of the bar where it goes into the clamp. I tend to have difficulty finding the getting the bars recentered, so this is just something that I'm going to do to make sure I get them in the right place. I feel like the bars are off a little bit, but I'm gonna look and see if there's any marks underneath here. So then it is a five millimeter uh, Allen to take these off. Do that. These are a lot tighter than the first two. Okay. All right, and I just discovered they are not centered. I can see it. The neural part of the bars are not uh, aligned properly in the clamp. So I'll get that straightened out so the tape isn't really necessary. Um, so I'll just take that off since I have the neural and I can measure that from that. I'm gonna take the key out so the bars don't hit that. And I'm gonna set the bars forward. I'm gonna cover this up so it doesn't get damaged. And I cover the TFT screen so that when I lift the bars, I'm gonna set them forward. Um, I don't want that to get scratched or banged up when I lift the bars off. So we'll put those there and just let those rotate forward. And now we need to take these out, which they look like they're maybe eight millimeter. Okay, the bolts holding the clamps into the triple clamp are eight millimeter. And they are torqued in there. really tight. Okay, I got the first one off. It's important to note that they do have a forward and aft position and the bars are set in the forward position coming off of here. You see it's just a, the center of that is just a little off center from the mount. So let's put the first one on. All right, just a quick note. If you're doing this, um, the bolt that was supplied this over. All right, if you're doing this, the bolt that was supplied was too long. You'll see that it runs out of threads uh, before that here, um, before this is tightened up all the way. So I had to find a shorter bolt. Um, it is a 10 millimeter, I think uh, 1.0 pitch thread. And so now I've got something that goes through and it uh, should tighten up. Okay, I'm going to stop here for a second just for a quick note. The bolt that I used to go through the bar clamp and the riser, the 22 millimeter riser, was approximately 50 millimeters. And I wasn't completely comfortable that the bolt went deep enough and that there were enough threads into the triple clamp. So I switched out to a 60 millimeter bolt, so 10 millimeters longer than this. And the threads from that with the 22 millimeter riser came out the bottom of the mount about two threads worth so it's all the way through i felt it was a lot more secure so if you're going to go with a 22 millimeter or 25 millimeter riser use a 60 millimeter bolt to get in there and then it'll clamp all the way through so just a quick note now we can get back to the rest let's get that mounted All right, 
Loctite. Just gonna put a little bit of blue on the threads. I will come back and torque that uh, once I get the other one on. Get this one out. Head locker. Okay, bars are in place. Now, I need to sit on it and get them adjusted where I want them and then tighten things up and then torque it. All right, that's with the risers on. It feels pretty good. Clutch cable looks okay. I'm gonna tighten it up and then we'll give it a try. All right, I'm gonna slide this over to the center a little just to give a little bit of extra slack on the clutch cable. Um, just because when it bars go full lock to the right, it gets, uh, I'm sorry, to the left, it gets pretty tight. So I just moved it over, I don't know, half an inch, and then we'll try it. I want to do a better job of showing the clutch cable. And that's it. Full lock. It has a little bit of movement. It is tight, but it does have a little movement. And then I'll turn it full lock the other direction. And this one's really not a problem. Clutch cable, plenty of space. So it's just when the bars go to the right. All right, so I mentioned I'd move the clamp here over about a half inch. It's not even a finger, about a finger's width over, just to get a little bit more space for the clutch cable. But just to show I didn't move it that far, it was just enough to get that extra space that I was needing for the clutch cable not to bind when it uh, bars got turned to the uh, locks. Okay, so to give you an idea of what the bars look like now, um, this is the sitting position and then standing. So I still am bent over just a little. If I hug my knees, give a little bit of bend, it's in a much more comfortable position. I have a little over 600 miles on the bike. I've done at least 100, if not more than 100 miles off-road. I did a little bit with the bars down low, not comfortable. With the bars up high, um, I've spent all kinds of time off-road and I find that yeah I do have to hunker a little bit bend the knees a little if it's smooth I just sit down if it does get rough it's pretty easy to get up in that upright position and because it's rough you're bending your knees anyway to add a little bit of, of cushion and be able to move the bike around so it's really not a big deal um, this made a big difference and everything fit really well without having to make any changes to the clutch routing so I hope you found this useful and if you have one of these bikes and you're trying to figure out what to do with the bars to get those up, it's pretty simple. Just uh, get yourself a 22 millimeter riser, a 60 millimeter bolt, take everything off, put it back on with the riser in there, use some Loctite and you're good to go. So I hope you found this useful and this, if this is something you want to do to your bike, let me know how it goes. And I've got uh, several other videos planned on some other modifications I've made to this bike as I've gone along. So stick around for that and get out, do some riding, enjoy the fall weather as we get in there and I will see you out there.